What's up guys? I just got done driving 180 miles to save two Oscar fish. Yes, I completely saved their lives. I feel so heroic. This, is a, this was a crazy rescue. No, not really. But uh, last night I was sipping a couple cocktails. It was a Friday night and I was just like, actually it was Saturday night. Sorry, I'm just, I'm losing track of time. And um, a lady posted, hey, I have two medium size to adult oscars that need saving i can't find anywhere to take these guys lottie dottie um i'm like hey i have a 450 gallon heated pond uh hit me up if you're interested in <laughs> all right guys so we are downstairs and we are ready to do this here's the bucket of fish we have two oscar fish a black convict that is super thick look at how thick that boy is and that other cichlid right there, I think might be a fire mouse cichlid, even though she said it was an African cichlid. Um, the slime coat does not appear to be the best on these fish. And the water obviously doesn't look the best. Um, I'm not gonna judge its previous uh, owner or anything here. Uh, what I'm gonna do, what I like to do is just quick test the water to kind of see what I'm working with, you know, just because, you know, what what has done the damage to their slime coat. I'm mostly interested in ammonia and the nitrates. So immediately the nitrates are just sky high. You can tell that there's probably 50 parts per million. So uh, that's probably the issue. That's why the fish are hurting and it just keeps getting darker. That's crazy. Uh, that's really common for Oscar fish when you take in Oscars. I think these fish are really gonna like the pond though. So this is like 450 gallons of just heated bliss. So. Um, the temperature is around 75 degrees. Um, I'll use my scientific thermometer. That feels about that, actually. So uh, without further ado, I guess, guys, let's... Um, I've, I think as far as acclimating these fish, I'm going to get a five-gallon bucket. Hey, what are you doing over there, Whiskey? Get a five-gallon bucket, and I'm going to fill the bucket and do, like, kind of a dip. I'm going to put these fish in a dip and then in the pond. What my plan is, is to just fill this bucket with water from the pond. And the reason I do this is kind of just like, you know, I don't really want that water in my tank per se. And you can tell my water has tannins in it, but I know damn well it's not full of nitrates. So, and I also use this pond as a driftwood hub. So these fish have seen better days and they're pretty lethargic. I think I can probably just hand grab them. Okay, come on, work with me, buddy. Here you go. And then what I'm gonna do is just put him in the other bucket. So now that you've seen he's over here, now that he's been dipped and get, taken a minute to kind of uh, realize that he's in different water, we're gonna tempt this again. Come on, buddy. You gotta trust me. Let's see what he looks like in here. Of course he has to be dropped right next to that huge Midas. This pond has like very little uh, nitrates in it, so I'm not worried about that. Some people may have argued that putting him in here, acclimating him, from this crazy amount of nitrates into this healthy pond. I probably should have done it slower, but I don't know, these fish are pretty lethargic, so I just kind of want to get into it. So let's do the other fish. No, when they're really crappy. Well, I guess he's not getting a, uh, a dip. <laughs> All right, so these guys are smaller and I can probably use the net. And a lot of times if you use a net, you can just kind of give them a dip. Looks like one of those Oscars is a lot bigger than the other. All right, so what other fish do we have in here? Ah, it's that fire mouth. I know all too well about them fire mouths. All right, let's do this guy then next.
Is that a try? Is that a fire mouth? Yeah, that's got to be a fire mouth, right? Ah, that could be an African cichlid. I don't know. Maybe that is an African. It's definitely crazy like an African. All right, so let's do a little dip. Get any ideas in here, buddy. All right, then let's let them go in the pond. He might be an African. I thought he was a fire mouth. Pretty sure he's an African. So um, what I'm gonna do here, guys, is give these guys maybe like an hour to kind of chill out, and then we'll come back. I got some maintenance to do upstairs, and then we'll um, we'll take a look at them. So I think it's going pretty well already. I know the glare kind of sucks. Whoa, who's that guy? Oh, that's the new blue tilapia. I forgot to tell you guys about. I picked up a tilapia, blue tilapia. Someone dropped off. I'm trying to do more videos and like updating you guys on all the fish that I take and surrender. So there he is right there. Looks like he's gotten a little beat up on the top of his head. All right, guys, we're going to give this an hour and come back and see how the fish are doing. One hour later. So let's take a look at these fish, guys. It's now dark outside, so it's going to be easier to see inside the pond. All I have is an overhead shop light on this pond and oh, there he is. That Oscar's looking pretty healthy. This guy, I oh man, I don't know. I guess I've seen way worse, but it's just, uh, I think it's just going to take some time for these guys to kind of just like come to life. I'm guessing that like their slime coat was damaged. Um, it just, the nitrates were so high in the tank that it's just inevitably going to happen. And again, no offense to the previous owner. Um, it's just, uh, sometimes a lot of fish keepers, they get Oscar fish and they just really don't know what they're getting into because I remember her saying she had a 60 gallon aquarium and two Oscars and a convict and just, that's a lot going on for a 60 gallon aquarium, if we're being honest. I'm just glad that we could give these Oscar fish and the other cichlids a bigger habitat to live in because if we're being honest, this pond scenario is probably like much better than most aquariums, if we're being honest. Guys, the convict, I think, has paired up with my female convict in there. I totally forgot. I think there was a female black convict in there, so we may be in trouble. Hopefully, they don't try to throw around their weight too much when trying to breed. Yes, that is definitely a male, a tubby, tubby male and a small little female. Um, if anybody local wants that iridescent shark, please reach out to me because I'm just, I'm kind of a cichlid guy and I took it on a limb. It's just not my favorite type of fish. I keep these floaters in here. These are like plastic food trays. And I keep them in here because it kind of gives the cichlids and all the other fish like a hiding spot. And it kind of, you know, I, oh, there, there's the other Oscar over there. You can kind of see them. Um, God, I hate this fake plant. I just, I hate fake plants so much, but I'm trying to give these fish as much coverage as possible because I do understand that these guys do want to run away into a dark place sometimes and hiding spots are a big deal for fish that's a a green texas mixed with a jaguar cichlid right there guys so i'm really happy about him and there's both oscars over there in the corner i'm hoping that once i get some tanks set up downstairs here in the basement that i can kind of show Ooh, there's that blue tilapia but I'm hoping that I can get some tanks on here and kind of take some of these fish out and showcase them a bit more. But this pond, it's working for now. God, look at the Midas here. This just, I, I, I'm, I, the Midas have to be at the top of the hierarchy list, right? Because they're like three inches thick. These things are just mammoths. But who knows, maybe these Oscars will kind of like uh, beef up a little bit and become the new tank boss. So... All right, guys, I think I'm going to wrap this up here. I will keep you posted on these Oscar fish. Please like the video and subscribe.